One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the village prepared for the night, an ungodly incident occurred that would change Akin's life forever. A sudden inexplicable storm descended upon Akin Yele town. The village of Akin Yele in Oyo state was a serene place where traditions ran deep and every villager knew the rhythm of life. The people were bound by a sense of community, their days filled with farming, storytelling and evening gatherings under the ancient baobab tree. Akin, a young and ambitious farmer, was well known for his hard work and kindness. He had dreams of bringing new agricultural techniques to his village, hoping to lift his community out of poverty. One fateful evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the village prepared for the night, an ungodly incident occurred that would change Akin's life forever. A sudden inexplicable storm descended upon Akin Yele town. The wind howled through the thatched roofs, lightning cracked the sky, and rain poured down in torrents. Amid the chaos, a bolt of lightning struck the sacred baobab tree splitting it in two and igniting a fire that roared with unnatural ferocity. The villagers gathered, their faces etched with fear and confusion. As they attempted to douse the flames, a figure emerged from the smoke, an old withered woman with eyes that glowed like ambers. She was known as Ajay, a mysterious and reclusive figure rumored to possess underworldly powers. The villagers whispered that she had lived for centuries as a guardian of secrets and causes. Ajay raised her hand and the flames extinguished instantly. She spoke in a voice that seemed to resonate with the depths of the earth. This is a warning. An ungodly act has been committed and the balance must be restored. The one responsible must atone. The villagers looked at each other bewildered. No one understood what she meant but a sense of dread settled over the crowd. Ajay's eyes fixed on Akin, and she pointed a bony finger at him. You, Akin, have tampered with forces beyond your understanding. You must face the consequences. He had done nothing wrong, yet Ajay's words sent a chill down his spine. I don't understand, he stammered. What have I done? Ajay's gaze was unyielding. The storm was summoned by your ambition and your disregard for the old ways. You sought to change what has always been. Now you must embark on a journey to restore the balance. You have until the next full moon or your village will suffer. With that, Ajay vanished into the night, leaving the villagers in stunned silence. Akin's parents, Chief Akonde and Mamaibo, were horrified. They had always been proud of their son's vision, but now they feared for his safety. The village elders convened an emergency meeting, their faces grim as they discussed the prophecy. Elder Adewale, a respected figure in the community, addressed Akin. You must seek out the oracle of the mountains. She is the only one who can guide you on how to restore the balance. Your journey will be perilous, but it is the only way to save our village. Determined to protect his home and prove his innocence, Akin prepared for his journey. His childhood friend Bola insisted on accompanying him. She was a strong-willed and resourceful woman, and Akin was grateful for her support. Together, they gathered supplies and set off at dawn, their hearts heavy with the weight of their mission. As they trekked through dense forest and treacherous terrain, Aki and Bola faced numerous challenges. Wild animals, harsh weather, and the ever-present sense of being washed tested their resolve. Along the way, they encountered various villagers who offered cryptic advice and strange warnings, adding to the sense of mystery surrounding their quest. One evening, exhausted and weary, they reached a clearing where an old man sat by a fire. He introduced himself as Baba Ifa, a wandering sage known for his wisdom and mystical knowledge. Baba Ifa listened to their story and nodded sagely. You're on the right path, he said. But be warned, the oracle of the mountains is not easily found. She resides in a place where the physical and spiritual worlds converge. You must open your heart and mind to the unseen if you are to reach her. Baba Ifa gave them a charm, a small carved amulet, and instructed them to wear it at all times. This will protect you from malevolent spirit and guide you when the paths seem lost. Trust in yourself and in each other. With renewed determination, Aki and Bola continued their journey, the charm providing a sense of reassurance. As they climbed higher into the mountains, the air grew thinner and the landscape more surreal. 
Strange sounds echo through the valleys and shadows seem to dance in the corner of their eyes. One night, as they camped near a bubbling spring, Akin had a vivid dream. In it, he stood before the baobab tree, whole and unscathed. Ajay appeared beside him, her eyes no longer glowing with menace, but filled with sorrow. The balance can be restored, she whispered, but you must understand the true nature of your journey. Akin awoke with a start his mind racing with the implication of his dream. He shared it with Bola, who listened intently. We are close, she said. I can feel it. We must stay focused. As they pressed on, the landscape became increasingly mystical. They encountered ancient symbols carved into rocks and the hair hummed with a strange energy. Finally, they reached the entrance of a cave, the opening surrounded by luminescent flowers that seemed to pulse with an inner light. This must be it, Akin said, his voice tinged with awe. With a deep breath, they stepped inside, the cave's darkness swallowing them. The air was thick with the scent of incense, and a soft ethereal glow illuminated the path ahead. They followed it, their hearts pounding, until they reached a chamber where a figure draped in flowing robes awaited them. The oracle of the mountains, her face obscured by a veil, spoke in a voice that resonated with power. Akin, you have come far. Your journey is not just to restore balance but to understand the true cost of ambition and the value of the old ways. You must prove your worthiness through the final trial. The oracle's words echo through the chamber. Akin realized that his journey was far from over. He steeled himself for the challenges that lay ahead knowing that the fate of his village and the fulfillment of his destiny rested on his shoulders. If you are intrigued by Akin's journey and the challenges he faces, stay tuned for part 2 where the final trial unfolds. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel for more thrilling stories. Thanks for your support and take care.